wait for it. There it is. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Totally Local Podcast. Your podcast for everything that the mammoth. And- <laughs> what are, you, are you laughing at me? I'm trying to do this. I'm not trying to be me. <laughs> I'm trying to. You, you've inspired me to just be a better host. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Let's see how it goes. Totally local podcast. I forgot where it was. You messed me all up. Mm. Uh, we're a local uh, podcast devoted to covering the Jersey Shore, just yeah. smearing all of it all around. Talking about local uh, characters and wonderful businesses. Oh, yeah. I, what is this? What is this ad lib? I'm just stuff? waiting for you to finish it. <laughs> if you'd love to learn more about Totally Local, please go to our website, totallylocalpodcast.com, or uh, visit us at the Instagram account that Leo set up, totally underscore local underscore podcast. With me, most of the time, is my lovely co-host, Leo. Hello, Leo. Hi. Hot out there, huh? Oh, man. It's like muggy. You know, I'm a winter kid. I like the winter time. So. Really? Yeah, this is uh, this is my my sad time of the year when I lock myself in the house and I don't come out. I mean, it's I'm having a great... This is the best summer I've had in a while, and I really got to owe it all to, of course, uh, my lovely wife and especially uh, my little dog, Nugget, who gets me out of the house every day. I think that you're enjoying the summer because you know it's your last one of freedom for of 18 freedom? years. Yeah, 18 years. 18 years. Yeah. Man. Baby starting to kick, move mm-hmm. around. You know, I saw your wife recently, and she's she's pregnant. She's she's really pregnant. Yeah, she's definitely pregnant. She's got that bump going. Oh, yeah, and she's embracing it. She's like, spandex for me. She loves it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she wants they, them all to know. They make these, like, maternity pants where like they look like normal jeans but they like stop lower and then like there's like this like spandexy like lycra kind of thing that like comes up over the you know the bump and she's loving it she's loving life right now that's nice yeah it is um it's been a while it feels like it yeah kudos to you on hosting the nude curtis uh special edition podcast you did a really really great job (laughs) You did better than I do when I do it. <laughs> I uh, I was yeah that kept me up uh, kept me up at night for a couple of nights beforehand. But oh, it really? was it was fun it was fun in the moment. It's not something I I would like to do often, but it was fun to have that experience. I can't believe you really you seem so natural <laughs> in all you know facets of life I've ever seen you in, and I've seen you in quite a few <laughs> different stages and, and phases. But like you seemed like a natural in that, in that. Well, good. I'm a good actor. Oh well, yeah. It was and, fun. Uh, well, I thought the the most fun part was you know, in making it my own, changing up the intro music, and the outro songs, and all that stuff. That was fun. Yeah, and uh, it really it really motivated me. I still got to mix it down, but I had to take like you know after getting that out of the way, I really took a breather to to collect myself. But it's in the works. It's going to be done, and then we're going to announce when the show is going to be. Yeah. Well, you shout out to Mr. Angelo Gingerelli for coming by and co hosting that day. He's so good. He He's like funny. came out of the gate and surprised me with a joke. Oh, and yeah. I was just like completely like, yes, this is what I want. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, he's like, you know, I'm just, you know, breaking banana, whatever. I'm like, dude, it's totally cool. It was, it was hilarious. You know, maybe a little too spot on correct, but mm. uh, I can't I can't hate on that because it was super funny. It was fun. Um, you know, but I do do a lot. Do do. Mm. I do a, th- a lot of things here that people don't realize behind the scenes. Look, you don't have to sell me on the things you don't do or do do. <laughs> I do do. Leo, you you were lost at sea last week. I, I had was. to I had to like that's what I'm talking about is I <laughs> I had to like fill in the gaps there. Luckily, uh, we had a uh, Mike from uh, was it Shore Marketing, Epic Shouts to him just stepping in and he was uh, he was an uber natural. He's he's gonna have his own podcast. I'll I'll put the link in the comments. It's it's more for like the health medical industry, but hey, I don't know how many nurses are listening out there. Maybe they can check it out. Well, I mean, and that's the, you know that's the 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 talent that is you that only you can do is to just pull someone right off the streets and, and get an Boom. interview in and I just the, tap uh, into the you know the moment you know yeah I could never do that uh, well there you go that's episode thirty nine all right perfect Mike yeah. from, is it Mike yeah hey Mike. Mike thanks for just filling in wow yeah <laughs> it was great it was great he just you know I helped him out with something I was like hey you want to want to sit in because my my uh, co-host has been hijacked by pirates. <laughs> um, but it's been it's been the it was the two weeks ago was the new Curtis episode and yeah. then last week was the Mike episode and and uh, yep. and I haven't you know I haven't you know I've seen you obviously outside of the show but there's been a lot going on it's the summertime 
It is. Well, also, you know, it, this is episode 40. That's amazing. Time's flying by. It is. Um, and yeah, I mean, it does kind of feel like we, we, it's, it, this is, it, this is a perfect time for us to just kind of sit down and catch up and talk about what's going on on the show and where we're headed into next. So just fun, fun summer fun, episode. Fun summer episode. And what a summer it's been. Yes. Um, first of all, epic shouts to the Princes of Tides because Monday is, Super tight. I, I, I hope my wife is listening, but at the same time, I hope she's not, because I think that we're going to have our meetings on Mondays from now on, from 1 to 5. I'm, I would love that. Because uh, going to Anchor's Bend... I mean, it doesn't need to be the whole full hours, but... <clears throat> no, but, like, you know, whenever we get... Anchor, anyway, Anchor's Bend, <laughs> Mondays, in the summer, 1 to 5, we have um, Colin Carhart and his friend Sam Bay... Together, they form the DJ duo known as Princes of Tides. Mm-hmm. And we have the, the, the you know, friend of the show, uh, most wonderful Mike, Mike Merrill behind the, the bar, um, taught me so many things over the years, taught me how to tip correctly, ta- you know, filled Oops. in on the show. He, we, on the episode, uh, you, weren't, you weren't here that day. I think you were sick from the oh. pizza. Uh, he, he was telling me how, you, how you're supposed to tip. You know, especially a bartender and how he's he's chased, he's hopped the bar and sh- tackled, well, not tackled people, but he's chased him down and been like, dude, what, what is this? You didn't give me anything. I can see that. Yeah. So he's behind the bar. It's beautiful. You're on the, you're on the beach. You're on the beach, people. You're in the sand. Yeah. And it's, it's just, you, you got the umbrellas, you, you know, people, people don't know. So now you know, and you should definitely go check it out. Yeah, um, I had a good time. Uh, we got some stuff done. I think we were doing prep for the new Curtis show. Yeah. And we... and Colin had just come on the week before, or that week. The week before. Yeah, and so it was it was nice to get to see him in his element. And he's like a big, when I watch him doing his thing, he's like a big, um, like an uncle, like an older uncle who just kind of lays back in his chair and he's playing music and he's got this like bop that's going on yeah. to it. Like he knows, yeah, I know I play something good. I know. <laughs> you don't need to, you know, I, I know what I'm doing. Uh, so it was just his confidence, and and uh, it was nice to see him do what he wh- what he does and what he enjoys doing. And by the way, he's also <laughs> doing Sundays now um, at Bonnie Reed in Asbury Park oh, from Bonnie. one to five p.m. So if you want to catch him out on Mondays, doing print with Prince of Tides, doing his thing on the beach, great! It's great. You get you get some sun, you get some drinks, you get Mike Merrill. Uh, but if you happen to be in town on a Sunday eve- afternoon, uh, you can check him playing some beats there too. Oh, cool! Is it Princes of Tides or just him, or what's the deal? I think on it's Sunday? Princes of Tides. I All think right. they're doing both. But cool. he'll correct us if That's we're great. If we're wrong. Yeah, man. It's just the weather's been great. I, I, I really got to hand it to to, to shout outs to my dog Nugget, who I'm sure is listening at home oh, because, boy. you know, I wake up in the morning, the dog's like, All right, I gotta go outside, and I'm like, All right, fine, because usually I'm just a recluse. But this summer, it's just my whole life's you know obviously changed. So, and I'm sure you know having a baby, the baby's gonna want to go outside. So I'm gonna have to go outside. I don't think the baby cares whether it's outside or not. I think the baby is like, what's going on? Let's let's go outside. Not for like the first year. I'm sure baby's gonna be curious. Anyway, Princes of Tides DJ at the Bonnie Reed every Sunday, cool. twelve to four, not one to five. Twelve to four. So if you want to catch him on the beach, uh, at Anchor's been one to five on Mondays. On Sunday, twelve to four. Go and, ahead. Talk about how the baby wants to go outside. Well, people. Well, I'm, I'm over that. The people. Uh, what I've heard, Bonnie Reed is is a. I've gotten a lot of positive reviews. So okay, uh, there's like a thing where industry night sort mm-hmm. of like the people who work in restaurants and clubs and bars like where do they go when do they go out and usually they're off on mondays or tuesdays something like that okay the word on the street is because we've got the pulse and our fingers on the pulse if you want a really good meal a good time then you go to bonnie reed it's mm-hmm. like where the the in crowd goes it's where the people who are waiters are going when they're not waiting at their places that's what i'm hearing oh. and i'm sure that with princess of tide playing d you know djing it's going to be even better yeah definitely definitely yeah. i mean you can sit outside there i mean listen every time i go uh, I sit at the bar and and the food is always great so yeah was colin telling us about the burgers there he was telling yes. us yeah good yep. burgers it was before he I think announced that he was going to be be there too. So it all worked out, serendipity, baby. Yes, Mike Merrill loves that place too. Yeah. So Bonnie Reed. Bonnie Reed. 
you know, it's it was just it would I forget what it was before then, but you know, they got they got a lot of seafood and good burgers and uh, stuff like that. They do. Yeah. So, uh, what what else uh, what else you got going on? I saw you recently. You did. Oh where, God. Where were we at the, at the Bob? <laughs> yeah. Hey Bob. Bob is like a. <laughs> He's like a mystical shaman from Ocean Grove. It was such a magical evening. He brings people together. Yeah. Well, for those who uh, maybe are new to the show or have forgotten, Mr. Bob came through to talk about his PBS special uh, about how he, you know, meets strangers and invites them to dinner. Uh, it's called Supper Club, and it's not scheduled. It's whenever he is in the mood he to do, do it. it yeah. And he invites people on his Rolodex who he thinks would uh, be interesting yeah. and uh, puts together this party where usually people who are showing up don't know each other. So you're meeting a bunch of people for the first time and typically what ends up happening is that everyone finds somebody they're really interested in, whether it's like a work relationship or they have things in common. So they build these bridges, these partnerships. So he's helping curate an experience of building partnerships and people in your lives that you would not have normally met. He uh, and and that's exactly what happened. There there were people there that I knew through friends of friends that I never met before, and uh, had had a bunch of interesting conversations. And uh, I didn't get to talk to the director of the award-winning director, won an award for that episode with Bob. Uh, I didn't get to talk to him really that much. He kind of was uh, mysteriously, uh, he, he was in and out. He was there, and he was gone. Did you talk? Did you talk? To I him didn't him? even notice him leave. He, yeah, he just ghosted. But I did not. He was sitting right, you know, across from me and one over, and I didn't get to talk to him either. They, so. they, Bob requested me uh, rap a little song, and I look over, and the director left. I don't know if I. I don't know if he was just like, he just <laughs> yeah. didn't like it. I'm pretty sure he was there when you started rapping, uh, and then, and then when, was, when you were done and we turned to look at him, he was, his chair was spinning. Yeah, it was like a it cartoon, was like a puff of smoke, <laughs> he, was, he was gone. Uh, um, maybe it was like the second time you had to stop because you forgot the lyrics. Oh, man. Well, I was nervous. I really, it was put me, Bob put me on the spot, but, you know, thankfully my wife was there who who, who knows the album, so... Uh, she she helped me remember the that lines. was and that was one of the highlights of that dinner for me was them convincing you to stand up at yeah. the table and do something from the album which in and of itself would have never happened in my life mm. it would have never happened like I would have never done that so it was really cool to see you just get up and go for it uh but you got maybe a couple of, of verses or uh, sentences whatever in and then you stop because you couldn't remember what came I got nervous. Which to I got, me I got nervous. I was loving. I thought oh, that was hysterical. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> um because I wanted to see how you're gonna work your way out of this <laughs> sticky situation. Uh I pointed at my wife. I'm like what are the yeah, words? Yeah you so you stopped then you started again from the beginning. You stopped again at the same spot and she just picked up and kept going until you caught it again and I was yeah. like wow that's yeah. perfect. What a perfect couple. Yeah that's us. Yeah. Um and the food was great. I accidentally, I mean, whatever, it didn't matter, but the salad, uh, the salad, I took too much. Well, yes, you did. You took a whole plate of salad. I took, I took a lot of salad, but I wasn't thinking, I wasn't like, you know, it wasn't like Thanksgiving and like, oh, for everybody. I was just like, oh, I love this. This, It looks great. Yeah. But then I was like, oh, damn. I mean, there was more than enough food for everybody. Don't get me wrong. But once you take it and then I was trying to give off of my, I'm like, look, somebody have the salad. Nobody take the salad off my plate. Mm. So (sighs) whatever. Salad, Mm. salad gate. Well, dinner was great. It was. Uh, I was what very a cool happy. house. Very cool house. Summery, summery vibes outside. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you know, it was it was nice to see some of those individuals, same individuals, a couple of days later mm. at the Ocean Grove 150th anniversary oh. July Fourth parade. MG, what a scene that was. Did you? I, I didn't see you. I, I heard you were you. there. I heard you were there. Yeah. Yeah. Did you show up late? No. Did you leave early? No. Then how could I have missed it? You <laughs> I don't weren't in know. the parade. I was totally in the parade. I had my big hat on and my huge glasses. So you may not have seen me. We were we were looking in the crowd. We didn't see you. We didn't see Mike. I guess Mike was on the other side of the truck. We saw Heather. But like I, we were like, where's where's Leo? What what happened? We didn't know where you were, and we didn't see Whoopi. I don't know if Whoopi was there. He was there. Where so where were you? <laughs> um we were like Fletcher Lake. We were like for the furthest route. Of it south, you know where the where the lake is, Fletcher Lake. Yeah, you guys that's like when it around. starts. Well, I mean, I saw Heather, so I have you know. Oh, we, and we took you know pictures. what? what? Right at that point, I saw two blocks ahead. The Have you ever seen the Kid Band? 
it's like the the band, but they're all like 10, 11 year olds, and they're really good. They're playing rock music. Oh, is it like from uh, yeah, Lake House music? Yeah, yeah. Well, once we turned where apparently you were, that little small like area, yeah, I ran and took off and went to take pictures and video of the kids. Because the parade didn't really start yet. We were still kind of lining up to get ready to start the parade. I mean, you guys were, they were moving. People were moving. And then we walked, we walked all the way across to go catch you guys again by days. And we get like a block away. Now, I asked, I asked Lauren this. I asked my wife. I'm like, look, do you want to walk? You know, it's hot out. We've got the dog. Obviously, you're pregnant. You know, do you want to walk and do this or do you want to leave? And she's like, no, we can go. So we get all the way over there. And we're like a block away from you guys, and she's like, "Nah, I'm tired." I'm like, "Why did, why did we, why did you, you know?" And I can't, see, you know, what am I, what am I gonna say? Like, oh, you can't see another. I'm like, "What? We could have just, could have." I was like, "All right, well, I get." And she's like, "What? You want to go? Fine." Well, I'm like, "No, no, no. You want to leave? We're gonna, we're gonna go. We're gonna go do whatever you want to do." Well, le- this was the longest parade I had ever been in, and I've been in a lot at this point because. The governor was there. Phil Murphy? Yeah. And he was like, apparently he was like two or three cars in front of us. And he was stopping to shake hands and kiss babies with every single human being possible. How did I miss and that? And so there were points where we were just stopped for like three, four minutes of just not moving at all so that he can go and talk. And, Thanks and, a lot, Phil. So it was a crawl. And every I guess the cars ahead of us were going through it. Mm-hmm. But anybody behind him was just like stopped in the sun, Ew. complaining about how being hot and miserable. Thanks a lot, and Phil. then the people watching us were like, are you going to play? <laughs> like, you, yeah, we normally I, play when we walk. Like, yeah. We're just standing here. I don't know how you guys, like, I, I heard a little bit of it, but, like, Heather has to, like, orchestrate and kind of tell everybody what to play and then you guys kind of i don't know how you hear anything because it's so friggin' loud all around you guys yeah uh but it was a i did not realize was it that many has it always been like that many people in the kazoo band i mean it depends on the parade this one was a pretty big one it was like 20 30 people in the band am i crazy is that Uh, there were like a hundred plus people in the band though like in the kazoo band yeah Really? I have a video I put on our uh, Instagram. You can watch it. it. And it's just like the people just keep going. It's like a sea of kazooers. Wow, maybe yeah. we did catch you guys too early. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You came before. You were like, we were still getting online. When, where, did when it, were... where did it start? It starts where the lake is going away from the lake. Okay. All right. Yeah, then we were just at the beginning. Of, yeah. Oh, well, we, we really... Uh... We didn't. We didn't. I thought we did good, but I guess we we didn't. We we did not. We did not do good. Mm, well, you but, did good enough. Yeah, I'm that's still what surprised you came out. It was early. It was early. It was hot. It was hot. Yeah, but you know that's fine. I well, can deal with that, that was nice. Yeah. Well, it's you know it's great. It's <laughs> I great didn't hear you were there friends. until the end. Oh, I was like, oh yeah, I do a thing with Andrew, and I was like, oh yeah, I saw Andrew, and I was like, you saw him? What do you mean you saw? Yeah, him? Yeah, and then the young Steve Mitchell was like, he was driving the truck, and he was like, oh yeah, Heather Schulze, she's she's in you know the house on the corner, White House on the corner, and she's, he's like, go hang out, go hang out. And I'm like, okay. So we walked through like a sea of people and like went to the White House on the corner, but I didn't see her, and I'm not gonna be like. Is Miss Schulze here? Can do you guys know? Oh, you! I would have text. It was too hot to. to uh, yeah, whatever. Well. If I saw her, I would have been like, "Cool, let's chill." But I didn't want to. I didn't want to go through the whole rigmarole, as they say. All right. Um. So uh, Bruce Springsteen, you know, I talked about this last time. Or not last time, but when when Mike was here, like, it seems like you know, you you go get a, get a gallon of milk from from the from the Wawa, and then there's Bruce Springsteen there. If you go. You know, you're going to pick up your newspaper outside. It's like Bruce Springsteen's going to hand it to you. You what? know, you go everywhere you go. It's like you go to the hot dog stand. Oh, it's Bruce Springsteen. Oh, like, you know what? When you were saying that, I was I don't know why, but I was thinking Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. I'm like Bruce. That'd be Will- awesome. I'm thinking you're saying Bruce Springsteen. I'm thinking to myself, why is he talking about Bruce Willis? Where did I miss Bruce great. Willis? Yeah, you're right. He's uh, everywhere. That was pretty cool. It is cool. Everyone loves it, and everyone loves taking. They're like, oh, let me take blurry ass pictures of Bruce Springsteen and post them everywhere. Yeah. Everyone has them. You're right. What, because what, he why was are you doing that? Because I don't know what, does it make me sound different? Uh I mean you're you're doing your voice differently is making No, I, I don't think I am. <laughs> <laughs> Super distracting is all I know. <laughs> Super distracting. This makes me sound so cool. <laughs> um so yeah, I was getting those too because uh after the parade that night Bruce Springsteen surprises and does a set on the Stone Pony outside show. Mm-hmm. 
And um, a lot of the people who were at the after parade barbecue mm. went to see the Stone Pony show after that. So there was a bunch of texts saying, hey, oh, my God. Yeah. Bruce, but I mean, it's like, oh, you know, you go to you go to Brick Wall. Who's serving you? Who's serving your drinks? It's Bruce Springsteen. Like, he's, yeah. he's always he's always there. And I like Mike was like, don't hate. I'm like, I'm not hating. I'm just saying he's like he's there a lot. Yeah. Doing stuff, which is great. People love it. You know? Well, you know, yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, we had the uh, we had that big opening of the big uh, whatever it's called on the Asbury Ocean Club opening on the boardwalk, and then we had a shooting right on the boardwalk. I heard about that. I wasn't here for the Fourth of July, but I did immediately start getting messages about a shooting on the. Fo- that was yeah. really sad. I mean, it sucks, but I mean, it's a real. It shows the disparity and like the juxtaposition between like this u- ultra wealthy shore area and then the other side of the tracks literally like the west side of asbury park like is completely like ignored and it's funny because like the the headlines the next day and like you know in the on on like the asbury park press website and stuff it was all about this beautiful building opening up and like nobody was talking oh yeah and there was uh, somebody got shot like nobody mentioned that but uh it's 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 summertime it gets really super crowded over there and I mean shenanigans. I, I don't know. You know, it's it's it kind of sucks. And I'm glad nobody got like ultra hurt. So two people got hurt. I think one pe- person got hit, and then another person sustained minor injuries, and they refused medical attention. Um, but uh, it's it's. Uh, I don't but know. do we know that the, that had anything to do with Asbury Park? What do you mean? Like, or were those people from Asbury Park? The the youth that got. Uh, that got caught he he was uh, i think he's 16 15 from asbury park um but there was another shooter he had a gun and there was another shooter and the other shooter still at large so yeah it had it definitely had something to do with i think it was just two people you know i can i can only speculate it had it's not like they went there to just be crazy i think they were like two people that maybe didn't like each other and they were shooting at each other Who's responding to us on the Insta- on the on the Facebook? Oh, those are all the people that that joined. It was uh, Ralph, Mike, Ming, uh, Allison, Turagano. Hello, uh, Ali. How's it going? Um, shout out to Ming. Yeah, shout out to Ming. He's he's uh, he's always working hard. He's 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 always like just you know when he's not here, he's he's totally just just Local. running around and you know. Um, I have received a text and i want to read it to you <laughs> okay is it a complaint about the show no this is totally i'm changing gears okay switch it up all right here, here's what i got so tonight tonight in asbury park mm. you can see psychedelic furs at the paramount seriously citizen cope at the stone pony wow and or joe grushecki should have led with that one at wonder bar ap hmm Typical Wednesday night in Asbury Park. That's that's beautiful. Psychedelic furs. That's great. Citizen Cope, awesome. And Joe, who? <laughs> <laughs> Joe, what? Joe, Mama. So I bet you people are like, you don't know that. Yeah. Ralph's definitely like, you don't know Joe Grushecki. G R U S H E C K Y. Is it? Uh, it's all. Um... You know Joe Grishecki. Sure, I know Joe Grishecki. Yeah. We love Joe Grishecki. Friend of the show. Jams on the Sand, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. I didn't go. There's been two already? Yeah. I didn't go to the first two. I went to the very first one mm-hmm. and was it left. Rainy? Was it, it rainy? The, it was, but the, it opened up. So they did it in the Wonder Bar. And actually, I like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I left before it really got, got started. I uh, I was supposed to do an event tomorrow for Scout Guide Two Rivers uh, tomorrow night, but that got postponed till next week. So I think I'm going to do a little jams on the sand. Free music at Mogo on the beach. Uh, oh, JoJo's doing the sound. Epic shouts to JoJo. Um, that'll be going on. Uh, is that when is that? Ralph, is that today? Tomorrow? Free music at Mogo. Huh. Weren't we supposed to do a There's little There's a spot? delay, you know. He's not going to get respond to you right now. What do you mean? <laughs> There's a delay from when they people on the outside hear it? this to when... Oh, yeah. There's a little tiny bit of a delay. I think it's like 30 seconds. It's, I don't think it's 30 seconds. Anyway, whatever. Uh, you talk to Mogo. Aren't we supposed to do a little spot? Yeah, we're supposed to do a spot with them. All right. Well, we got to have another meeting on Monday to go over <laughs> what we have going on. <laughs> I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sweet. Yeah, you've been you've been, you were gallivanting. You weren't uh, you weren't in town for the fourth. 
No, I wasn't in town for the fourth. Mm-hmm. Uh, I decided to take a spur of the moment trip to uh, to visit from New York mm-hmm. all the way to Massachusetts, mm-hmm. back to New York, to North Jersey, and back here uh, in like a two and a half day time period. So it was a lot of foot on the ground, but it was nice to to get away. So I have so okay. Uh-oh. I have decided every to... Wednesday is that mogul okay. thing. By the way, wow. So okay. So I decided to 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 purchase a, a piano, like a, like a Steinway. What are we talking? Like a like a little key, like a keyboard, like a Korg. Okay. Yeah, really, like a Yam- been, like a Yamaha. Basically, I've I've inspired you. Yeah, or you I've basically and lit the way for your. Kind of. I've basically just shined a light. Okay, no. Okay. I think it was more Elton John. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, All right, I'll take it. Is maybe, it maybe, keys? maybe you. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, okay, so cool. I, I really. You're I asking always, me to produce your album. No, basically. I'm not. I'm saying the I always yes. think I should go big instead of going like I'm not going to just go get a, like a three hundred dollar keyboard. I want to get mm-hmm. like a thousand dollar keyboard because I deserve nice things. Mm-hmm. Life is hard. Yeah. So um, that trip that I took was like my last hurrah before like I settled down into myself, mm-hmm. get back into you know doing my routines and doing the pizza questing, which means I have to go back to the gym because I can't keep eating all these slices of pizza, which I have an update. Mm. Um, and I have a funny story. And, okay. uh, and so, and so you're working on your album now. I was about to go back to that. Uh, I'm not working on anything cause I haven't put the piano yet. I just picked it out. You just picked it out. So anyway, well, you picked yeah. it out, you didn't pick it up though. I picked it out. I didn't pick it up, but okay. this is my, this, that was my last minute goodbye to the fun time to be serious <laughs> and focus that. on some projects. Listen, just be, take it from somebody just finished an album. Don't be oh hard on yourself. God. I had said nothing about an album. All I said was I was going to buy a chord. Just don't be hard on yourself. Relax. Take it easy. Okay. You know, 88 oh keys. God. If you can get a weighted keyboard so the keys are weighted so it feels, you know. I know what I'm doing. Okay. You don't even play piano. I play a little keyboard, no, yeah. Okay. Um, it is, I'll tell you what it is. It is. I can't wait. That's some shit we could do live on the thing. You could bring the keyboard a ro- in. I'm getting a Roland. Okay. All right. Because what? do you think I should get a Roland or Korg or Yamaha? Doesn't, doesn't listen. Just get one. That's what I was. But I like I like when it says Roland. I think, oh, he's not playing around. I mean, a, Ro- a Roland is is good. Yamaha's good. It's uh, it's it's all uh, good. Yeah, he, uh, Ralph put in the Facebook uh, Asbury Park Live. The link is on Facebook. Facebook dot com slash Asbury Park Live to go check out uh that Mogo stuff that's going on. I guess tonight. Um, yeah. And you know, check it out. It should be should be pretty fun. But you know, that doesn't matter. Just get just get it and play. Take it from somebody that's just finished an album where I was really well, hard on myself. Pizza. I have an update for Pizza Quest. Wait, hold on a second. Yeah. Hold on a minute. What's that? I know what it is. It's a long intro. <laughs> it's been a while though. <laughs> so we gotta play it in you know, full. Where we live one slice at a time. And the pizza you eat. Is the pizza you live by? The brave must rise up, travel to find the finest cheese, the crispiest crust. People love this. And the most you? magnificent sauce. Other people love this. Your wife? Pizza, pizza. Other other people. <laughs> um, Wait for it. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of pizza. It it certainly is. You don't realize it, and I keep saying it every time, but it is a lot of pizza. So what's up, man? So I'm about halfway through Pizza Quest. Um, I have a, fu- a like so. I just finished Neptune. Um, I'll cut to the chase. Nano's one. Um, I like their Sicilian. But I want to give a quick shout out to Gianni's Pizza and Neptune. Why? Why do you always look? It's ruthless. It's kill or be killed. There's one winner, Highlander style. There can be only one. <laughs> why are you giving so, like friggin' merit awards to the loser? Did I tell this story on the show yet? I don't know. I think I told you though. Maybe. So we try not to talk about I know. things when we see each other because we're. Or like, may, I may have to just told about. other people, and I'm getting confused. So I go into Gianni's Pizzeria. Mm-hmm. I have. Seen the oh, yeah, you told us this at Bob's. Oh, okay, okay. 
So this is, this is messed up, man. <laughs> tell yeah, tell this story. This is kind of like this is why we can't. That's why we got to go incognito. Yeah. We're getting too big, you know. People know who we are now, and it's all right. Just tell the story. So I go to I go to Gianni's and as one of my first stops in Neptune, which ended up having like sixteen pizzerias. It's ridiculous why there's so much pizza in Neptune. Um, now I'm getting angry about all the pizza when I oh, <laughs> first. It's a lot of yes, pizza. yes, it's a lot of pizza. So. I'm sitting, I go into Gianni's, and I'm talking on the phone. I'm planning a trip that I have coming up next year. Mm. And so I'm not really paying attention. I'm deep in the conversation. And when I get into Gianni's, the owner of Gianni's comes up, and he he tells me, he, like, puts his finger out. I'm like, yeah, you know, I just, before I can say I want, like, a slice of pizza, he's like, our electricity, our power is out. Mm. I'm going to need about 10 minutes to make you a, sl- a fresh pizza. That right there, red flag. So I'm like, okay, right? <laughs> <laughs> but right. I'm not really paying attention because I'm on the phone. So I, I walk back outside, and I'm talking on the phone. Mm-hmm. Now, I will say that the owner of Gianni's does work out at my gym. Okay. However, he's, he, he is not somebody I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, He's yeah, not somebody yeah. I work out with. The only reason why I know that he works out of my gym is because he wears a T-shirt that says Gianni's on it. Uh, so anyway. Very observant. So anyways, um, so I'm talking on the phone for about 10 minutes, and he comes outside, and he tells me, with a slice of pizza, come on inside. So he's got a slice of plain pizza. And at this point, you gotta, like, you're not, you, you got to be thinking to yourself, like, why the hell... Like this isn't normal behavior. This isn't like any customer goes to this place. Well, and they're like, I would assume. There you go. But Here's wait, a piece no. Of pizza Gianni's has been anything. one of the more friendly, friend of the show sort of pizza places where they followed us and they've commented on our stuff. So our pictures are over our, our instant social media. We work out at the same. You know, I work at the same gym as one of the, the owner. So I assume that they know why I'm coming. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's blown up the way it has Pizza Quest. So. um... All of the employees are staring at me. <laughs> I'm the only person in there. I go, I take a couple bites. And my first thought is, this is good. like, it, it's the first one of the day. So I'm thinking, oh, okay, this is good. I start to like <laughs> take my notes on what I think about it. Honestly, uh, I would have gave it like a seven. It's just your sl- average slice. Yeah. Yeah. So I, average slice of pizza. I people. took one bite. I'm putting notes in my phone, clearly putting notes in my phone. And they're all watching. They're you. glancing. Obviously glancing. Like, they know something's going on. Like employees either know or they know something strange is happening. We need to get he comes back around the counter with another slice of plain pizza and says... What does he say? What? Hey, try this one instead. Try, try and let me know what you think about this one. First of all, he should have... If, if the second one was better, why would he give you the first one? I took, a, took the second one, mm-hmm. took a bite of that one. I handed him back the first one, and I said... Let's pretend this never happened. Oh, my God. <laughs> O-M-G. You so, said that to him? Yeah, I'm like, let's pretend this never happened. Like, let's never mention this this first slice of pizza. Again, because the second was so good. But I will say this. I did not know, and I'm learning a lot from doing Pizza Quest. I did not know that pizzerias have a different pizza that mm. they serve slices out of mm-hmm. than if you ordered a pie and that they gave you a pie. They're two totally different things that they're creating. Interesting. Yeah. Why, and so why is that? I, be one, it, I don't. I think it has something to do with like the steam process or being in a box. Like one is going to be a thinner mm-hmm. crust and usually like a longer slice mm-hmm. than if you were to say, okay, give me, I, like I I'm ordering say, a yeah. pizza pie. This is what he yeah. told me. Because I was like, okay, so what, what's Sounds the difference? Like Gianni is, is full of doo doo. Well, I I struggled over this for a long time because Sounds like it. do I rate the second slice of pizza? which was this pizza that I would have gotten only if I would have ordered a pie? Mm-hmm. Or do I rate the slice of pizza that I got first because that's what they give when you order a slice of pizza? Uh, you you got to go by... First of all, you got to go by the first one. It's tainted pizza because they're, 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 they're too close. And if you're going to... You have to go by the average slice that they're going to give you. So he he's kind of disqualified for making up a bullshit story but, when you walk in. But see, here's the thing. And shout out to um, Homedale um, and our and our our pizza. What's the name of that place? In Homedale? Yeah. Oh. Bellworks. Oh, Bellworks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Corbo and Sons. Ha, shout out to Corbo and Sons. But but it's the Sh- same. Shout it's out the to the same... Simmons and Moore podcast. Yes. Yeah, very much Adam so. Simmons. Very much the same process, though, because... 
they made a slice of pizza when they had us in their presence. But that's how they do it. That's how they do that's it. Not in how there. they do it there because they also have slices of pizza that you can get. They made us a slice of pizza in their presence. This guy did too. He didn't say that that's what he was doing, but that's what he was doing. Um, he pulled an old slice of pizza and gave it to me. And then the the fresh slice of pizza was done, and he cut a slice and said some story about it, but handed me, like, this is my finest work sort of deal. You see what I'm saying? I, I hear what you're saying, and don't worry, because we're definitely we're definitely going back. <laughs> my wife the bell wants, works. Yeah, my I wife know, she wants told me, to she was like, I want to just show up there. They don't know who I am. Yeah, I was like, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll drive. So I'll, 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 I'll definitely take that challenge to go, you know, you know, have my wife go in first and get a slice, and then I'll be like, aha, I'll like pop out of the bushes <laughs> or something. <laughs> but uh, I don't, I, I think that, I mean, it's it's not apples to apples. The you know when we went in there, we was talking to Adam like fresh ingredients, mostly locally sourced, if not all locally sourced. They have um, a beautiful uh, imported tens of thousands of dollar uh, you know oven that they use, which is super stylish and special. Um, it's it's a totally it's a totally different you know. I I don't think the ingredients are ever going to be fresher anywhere else we go. Um, you know, and he kind of, he just kind of slid in. He, 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 you know, the Corbo and Sons pizza, it's it, the whole thing is like, they got to serve p- plain slices. And since they do that, it counts. Pete and Elda's is awesome. Pizza well, doesn't count. They, they have Vicks, to serve awesome. pizza. They have count. to serve a plain slice. Yeah. W- me a plain pie. You have to be able to go in, buy a slice of that and walk out. Yeah. Yeah. Here, here's the thing. And you could do well, that at Corbo and Sons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So listen, I, you don't I, listen. You don't. You don't have to sell me on Corbo and Sons. Well, <laughs> I'm. I'm. Sa- I want to. I'm just. I'm trying to unsell you on this whole Gianni's. What is Gio- Giovanni's? Gianni's pizza. Gianni's. And- well, it doesn't count because. Well, it, it. They've disqualified themselves because they were they were stacking the decks with the pizza they gave you, and then second of all, the pizza wasn't even you know wasn't you know n- Nano's one anyway, so. You know, sorry, Johnny's like you just didn't cut cut it, cut um, the, didn't slice the. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I want to say so. Here's here are here are some of the places that I have winners for. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Allen Hurst, Asbury Park, Atlantic Highlands, Belmar. The... Br- you want me to say the winner? Okay. Yeah, yeah go for it. Well, I would think that they could go to the website and check this out, but since they can't, let me go ahead and just give this information. Yeah, just give it on the show, and then we'll, we'll we're gonna update the website uh, as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. Whatever, dude. Just just go. <laughs> give me a break. Alan Hurst, Sir Pico's Pizzeria, uh-huh. Asbury Park, TJ's, Belmar, Federico's. You did that one, Bel- yeah. Brielle, Pete's, Freehold, Mateo's. Oh, that's what the place. Freehold is where I got sick. That's where it all took a turn. So go to Mateo's. Don't go anywhere else because it can be any <laughs> yeah, of those. Yeah, because you don't know which one. Leo, Leo's well, not it telling wasn't. Us. But I will tell you, it wasn't crispy pizza. Okay. But there's also like 20 other ones you could been doing. Mm-hmm. Lake Como Ray's Pizza, Little Silver Palumbo's Pizza, Lincroft Luigi's Famous Pizza, Long Branch Scala's Pizza, Neptune City, Nano's, Red Bank, Mr. Pizza Slice. Somebody had some words for me about Mr. Pizza Slice. Really? Yeah, they either, uh, gave me another. Uh, they gave me another place to try. They thought it was in in uh, in one town. It ends up being on the borderline. It's in Red Bank. I have to go back to Red Bank just to make sure. Mr. Pizza Slice. Okay, Val's the uh, is in Rumson Union oh, yeah. Beach. Wait, is... wait a second. Time out a second. Val's doesn't serve single slices. What? Yeah. Yes. Val's on uh, in in Rumson Fairhaven area by the high school. They do not serve single slices. Yes. See, do you hear his voice showing up? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what are you saying? Val's doesn't serve single uh, slices. They do. Union Beach, Princess Maria's, West Long Branch, La Scarpetta. I'm going to have to go to Long Branch now. Why don't you go to like all the other places that we haven't gone to? How about go to Home? Oh, yeah. Home does fine. How about, uh, how about Howl? I'm going to go to Seaside Heights. I'll go to Howl, I guess. Epic shouts to Mike from uh, Shore Marketing because he's, he's from there. Um, I'll go to Howl. That's okay. But Val's, <laughs> Val's, I don't know who told you about Val's or said, hey, Val's, but you didn't go to Val's. So I did go to Val's. Out. I'm calling you out on Val's. You can call me out, but look, guess what? You look at your face. <laughs> you I don't know what go. you're talking about. You didn't go to Val's. Yes, I did. Then how would they be on the list if I didn't go to Val's? 
I don't know. I don't know. who You might have had somebody go there for you or just tell you about it, but Val's doesn't. I know Val's. That's, they don't not, how this, that's not how this game works. Epic. Yeah, I I know, Leo. I know that's not how this game works. <laughs> you trying to call me out, but you ain't going to get Val's, it. Val's, epic shouts You're to Val's. You're not going to get it. Epic shouts to Val's, though, because they have a great lobster pizza. Their pizza's good, but you it's a its a restaurant and a bar. You can't just go in and grab a slice and leave. That's not how We're it We're going to call them after the show, and we'll post I don't the results. I, I mean, I don't have to call. Well, I know. How do you know that they didn't change? Because I, I know the place. I've been no. going there for years. You're wrong. No, I'm not. Listen, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll get to it later, but, uh, you know. It's it's interesting. I'll have to I'll have to look over this <laughs> list that you have because Val's definitely definitely does. I don't even know. I, I'm trying to think in Rumson uh, if there are any other pizza. There's got to be a pizza place. It's got to be. It's got to be. Anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, there's a really cool show actually coming up. I'm I'm excited about. What's the show? Uh, Asbury Lanes, September seventeenth. Uh, the guy's name, he's a DJ. His name's Com Trues, like Tom Cruise, but the letters are switched. And he he plays, like, electronic music. And I'm like, holy crap, I can't believe they're actually going to have, like, a DJ come in and play music. I'm, I'm, I'm actually genuinely excited about this show. I think it's on a Tuesday, and I don't even care. I'm going to go. I'm going to have tater tots and listen to electronic music. I'm so excited. When is it? Uh, September 17th. I know it's a little bit in advance, but I, I just wanted to I wanted to let people know that, like, there's an actual DJ from from out of town that's coming in, and I'd like to see more of this because I, I'd like to see, you know, DJs coming in from out of town and playing cool music, not just like Jersey Shore fist pumper like garbage. I want to see like cool, cool people playing cool music. So you know that's going to be getting really close to baby time. I know. I got to get it all in while I can. Maybe we can have a baby shower there. A baby shower? A, a man? Well, it wasn't a man, man baby, baby shower, just a bunch of guys going out man and, baby drinking shower? At a, and drinking at a, a bar? Maybe. Uh, Lauren was all not happy because she's going to have her baby shower, and she's like, well, I just want my friends to be there. I'm like, look, it's not a party. And to be quite honest with you, dudes don't want to go to that. She wanted you to go? She wanted me to go, and she wanted my friends to go. And I'm like, look, the, the usual thing you do is, like, the guys that are what going. Friends? Huh? What friends? Like the news team, like everybody uh, like hanging out. And I'm like, look. Well, you know what? The news team would have probably like to go to that. I, I don't think they want to go to a traditional baby shower. I think that they may. I think that they sh- sh- would not want to go to that. <laughs> well, I know some pe- part. Some people in the news team definitely do because I've heard it said. <laughs> really? <laughs> but it was the women. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So anyway, uh, the, the, the usually what you do is you, you drop the wife off and then you uh, say hello to everybody and then you go out with whatever guys or you know had to go with their wives to this thing and then you, you hang out with them for a little while. That's usually the the tradition of it. But yeah, we should definitely do uh, a man baby shower where we just go out and drink beer and yeah. entertain me. You know, I don't know if there's any kind of games we could play, but. Uh, uh, maybe that'll be it. Calm Truce, Tuesday, September 17th at Asbury Lanes. Also, um, if you guys haven't had enough fireworks, people love the fireworks. People do love that. Uh, July 12th in Belmont at dusk, and July 13th in Freehold at uh, Michael J. Ty Park. Um, they're going to do some fireworks if you're into you know crowds and heat and explosions. You're into all those things. And well. those dates mm. um, for the fireworks are also posted on the Instagram account. Perfect. So if you go there, you can see those. That's great. You got a little grizzly voice I don't know why my <laughs> voice always goes once I get here. It's fine for 99% of my life until I sit down in this place. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I mean, let's see. We went over Pizza Quest. We really got to gotta tighten that up because uh, I got I to gotta do a verification on this list you got going on. Somebody should always double check my work. Yeah, because Val's is not. Uh, anyway. It is. Um, anyway, so... I have an update on Coastline Tour. Oh, we don't have a Coastline Tour song yet. Sorry, guys. But uh, Well, yes, we do. Go ahead. Ready? One, okay. two, three. Chuck, 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 Coastline. Here we go to, to the find the coast. new place to go <laughs> on the Coastline. <laughs> <laughs> you really get a kick out of that. 
really get a kick out of it. You gotta stop professional. Why do we have a theme song that starts with chug chug chug? It's a coastline. It's like a it's like a choo choo train going. Normally I'm much better at that, but that totally threw me off. That's I, what I try to do. I, I couldn't get it back. That's what I try to do. Because I want to. That's what I want to. You know, I definitely want to do. I couldn't understand what the connection with that. I don't know. Sorry, I missed. You that. thought I was like chugging. Yeah, I'm like <laughs> chug chug. <what? laughs> Oh, I do love that. Um, so. Yeah. <sighs> Coastline. This was difficult for me. Where'd you go? Elberon? I did. Elberon Hubbard? This is going to be a very quick Coastline tour update. There's, there's what? Actually, the update is, mm-hmm. next place is Alan Hurst. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing in Elberon. No, I didn't find anything... Um, it's like a ghost town. Uh, just... There was yeah. There's like a there was a couple of things. Convenience stores. I found a party store. There's a party store. Like a tiny little. Is there like a main? St- I'm trying to think of because I get confused with Deal, Alberon, Allenhurst. I kind of mush them all together because they're yeah. all kind of like whatever. But you got off the train and you did a 360, and there was like nothing there. I will. Well, there are some incredible houses there. Yeah. But you can't go in them and buy things from people. And you also so and and you also don't want to take pictures of them and put them on the internet. Why? I just felt like that was intrusive. So That's I thought about doing intrusive. it. I took some pictures and I, I never posted them because I was like, ah, eh, this is not. I'm getting out of here <laughs> before the police come. There's some and, gentlemen taking pictures of houses. Yeah, I yeah. mean, there's you know you can get to the beach through the houses, but for the most part. I mean, you, you can't really get to the beach house, but you can see the beach through the houses. Oh, the houses have like yeah, beach they access. have the beach. Yeah. Oh. So I mean, it yeah, was a difficult. It was houses. a difficult um, place, but I will say I learned some really cool things about it in terms of like it being the L.A. of of the East Coast back in the day and presidents Elberon? visiting that area yeah, and all wow. that kind of cool stuff. So it's well, really died. cool if you want to just dive a little bit into the history of New Jersey, checking that out. Hmm. But in terms of it being the next city to study on Coastline Tour, um, sadly... Nothing there. Uh, there was not much to report. Basically, Bruce Springsteen will never be popping up in Elberon for any reason. Not unless he has a house there, because okay. there's some beautiful ones. But, I mean, again, it's a really incredible... It, there's houses there that I've never seen anywhere else, uh, especially not in Jersey, that of that size, and, and that kind of just cool... about it. Just driving through it is cool that the way. architecture. Yeah, so if you like some really interesting architect, architecture, whatever, check it out. Um... I will be going off to Allenhurst, and I'm just super excited this weekend. So I'll be finishing Allen or starting and finishing Allenhurst mm. this weekend. So it's Allenhurst week on Get the coastline there early, tour. Because it's going to be cray cray on the weekend with all the with all the traffic and the. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm overly paranoid about these kind of things, but to me, it's like, you know, get get your act together because you don't want to be caught there. You don't want to be caught there in Allenhurst. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so Allenhurst again is is the town right to the north of um, of Asbury Park. So I'm super excited to get in and get out because wait, then where's Elberon? I thought that was the town north of Asbury Park. Are no, Elberon is north of Deal. So Elberon, then you have Deal, oh. then you have Allenhurst, oh. and then you have the Asbury. Oh. Area. So you're going? I thought you were going north on no. the coastal tour. It's just randomly going. around. No, I'm going south. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I Where started at the beginning. Where is it in Bayhead? Uh, it ends in like always, Point Pleasant. I think it's Bayhead. Yeah. Oh, get, it is Bayhead. I get. I get. I do uh, remember that. It is Bayhead. I get. Like, I'm not going take, to Bayhead. If you take, uh, you got. Hey, it's the coastline tour. You have to go. To well, I mean, where's them. Bayhead? I it's all the way at the end. It's like Tom's River, I think. Oh, okay. I could be wrong. I think that's what it is. That's interesting too, because like you go up to MSG if you take the train up to go say see like fish or somebody. Um, it's always it's it was always my fear because if you take take the coastline tour down from MSG, if you fall asleep, you'll end up you'll end up in Bayhead, and then you're just kind of screwed because it's the last one. You're yeah, and, and you know what? In Bayhead, there's a huge circle of track where they then go right back up north, and Bayhead is right below Point Ple- Point Pleasant. Yeah. So uh, yeah, there's there's not too many more stops. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I wouldn't say that I'm exactly halfway yet, but I should be soon. And once I get into that Belmar area, which is a couple of towns away, so I'm excited to I'm really excited to get into Asbury. But then, how do I do the town that I live? You know, so I think I'm going to do a spin on it and go to places I've never been in Asbury. I mean, I don't know. Maybe go to some new places you haven't been, but you got to give shouts outs to all the places that you enjoy going in Asbury Park. Because I would imagine that all the good places you've went to, if there's bad places, you probably didn't 
I guess there's probably always somewhere that you could try that you haven't been to. Maybe I do like all the places that you shouldn't go to in Asbury Park. I mean, I thought we didn't want to do a negative spin on the podcast, so. Oh, that's true. Because I would start with Catsbury Park, but I'm not going to do that because we don't want to do a negative spin. And that's just because I don't like cats. <laughs> that's not fair. If you like cats, go to Catsbury Park. I guess so. If you have, if you like cats, you have your own cats. Why would you go? I don't know. Whatever. Um, You're just mad because they didn't ask you to do the DJ for the cats. I know. <gasps> oh, speaking of that, mm. we will be live. Oh, yeah. Uh, we will be live at the Asbury Park Tattoo Convention. Yes, J- at uh, the end of the month, July. It, it, the The Tattoo Arts Festival takes place from July 26th to July 28th. Um, please have your write-in ballots ready for what me and Leo are going to get tattooed on ourselves. Uh, more than likely, it's going to be the totally local uh, logo. So we got to pick a nice spot on on our bodies to get tattooed, and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> So um, that's happening in 16 days, Friday to Sunday, July 26th, 20 uh, to July 28th. Epic shouts to DJ Uncle's nephew for hooking that up. And we're going to do a spot. That might be our first uh, spot uh, location. What is it called when you go somewhere and you're on the, like, like Big Joe Henry style when you're showing up at like some random spot and you're just set up in some like Chevrolet dealership in the parking lot or something? On what is location. That called? Yeah, we're going to be on location. <laughs> it's going to be our on location episode. Yeah. So we'll have all the kinks worked out by then, and we'll get our tattoos ready. Yeah. Cool. All right. Good. I'll get a tattoo if it's free. I mean, I don't. I don't think it works like that. But oh uh, well, it was worth a shot. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, any anything else coming up? Or are we we good for now? Well, what's happening next week? What are we doing on the show next week? Uh, are we gonna have surprise. fun surprises? We're gonna have a fun surprise. Oh, I love when we have fun surprises. Yeah, me too. Me too. All right. Um. So everyone, tune in. Um. Thank you for being here with me. As always, my co-host Leo. It's been another exciting and special uh, episode of Totally Local Podcast. <laughs> uh, if you'd like to know more, please go to totallylocalpodcast.com or check us out. Like us, follow us, creep on us. Oh, Instagram, totally underscore local underscore podcast. Or look us up on Facebook, Totally Local Podcast. Um, thank you, Ming, in a shared universe podcast studio. Uh, and uh, as always, uh, see you guys later. Bye-bye.